Hello everyone. So for today's card, I'm using another Roberto's Rascals Amigas image. This time I'm using Coffee Sue and I inked her up with uh, MFT's Black Licorice Hybrid Ink and stamped her onto some CC Designs Copic Quality 80 pound cardstock. Um, it didn't matter how I stamped it because I'm going to die cut it here. I'm using one of my favorite things, um, Stitch Circle Stacks Dies. Say that three times fast. <laughs> and I'm using the largest die. And again, I'm not worried about it not cutting um, a perfect circle because I'm going to trim off um, the edge of it. I had a somewhat idea of a layout. Um, I get asked a lot about my card process and um, it's different every time. So... For today's card, I knew I wanted to use this pattern paper. This is just Echo Parks. I'm so happy together. I'm not even sure if it's available yet. I haven't done my links for all the supplies yet, but I had it in my stash and I thought it was kind of cute, so I wanted to use that. So I pulled that out first and have it, um, one of the pieces trimmed down just to give me some ideas for the colors to use. And then I wanted to die cut this main image here and I wanted it to hang off or like trim off the side of it because it's such a big circle that it would kind of take up all of an A2 card. So I just held it up to the pattern paper there to give me an idea and use that as a guide and then just trimmed it off with my paper trimmer. And I did all that first just so that if I was going to color and do anything, um, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just, again, this is one of the few processes I did. And then to color it, I thought I'd pull up my new Spectrum Noir pencils, which I had shown in a haul video a while ago, and this is actually the first time I've used them. I just haven't had the time to really get around to playing around with them. So um, the MFT hybrid ink works really well with this. I'd shown it with um, Prismacolor pencils and Odorless Mineral Spirits, so it's the exact same idea. So with these, I'm using the Essentials set of the Spectrum Noir pencils. I thought I would just stick to one set for now since this is my first go at them. And I'm using these lighter, they'd be skin tones. They don't have names of any of the colors. You can just kind of tell by the how they're arranged. Um, and these specific skin tones, they're very pale. Um, the set of brown ones you can see kind of beside those purples, that would work really well for like a deeper skin tone and like more color. Um, and also I am using really light pressure um, just until I kind of get used to them. Um, so I'm not going to really review them here because literally this was my first go. I think they're great. I just need to play with them some more, obviously. Um, so yeah, I did the skin tone first because that's always my habit when it comes to coloring in little people images is I do the skin first and then I do the hair. And with her hair, I'm using these brown tones. And I decided I wasn't going to blend the hair at all because I like how it was turning out. Just flicking the colors so you basically get strands and I just used the light, went lightest to darkest. And yeah, I thought it turned out kind of cute so I decided not to blend that with the odorless mineral spirits because I didn't want to lose um, all that fun texture I created. So I just left her hair alone. Um, I've done a video, if you haven't seen it, on Prismacolors and odorless mineral spirits info. I talk more about my odorless mineral spirits. I use the Grumbacher brand that I found at Michael's. Other people haven't been able to. It is kind of harder to get because a lot of people can't ship it because it is a solvent. So other people have talked about using, you know, baby oil or, um, my brain has just stopped, but, oh, Goo Gone. Ugh. So neither of which I've tried, so I cannot comment on whether or not it'll work. I just use, yeah, Orderless Mineral Spirits. Another popular brand name is Gamsol. I had heard Spectrum Noir has their own with these whole sets of pencils and that, that they have their own blending solution, which I assume is kind of the same thing. Um, but I don't see any retailers caring yet, so I, d I have no idea what's going on with that. Like if places are able to sell it or if it's available or what. So you can look into that as well. Um, I just pour mine into this little, it's a little baby spice jar I've had for years and I just shoved a little sponge in there and then I pour the orderless mineral spirits in there and then I'm pressing my little stumps, these are the Spectrum Noir stumps, into it to absorb some of it and that's how I'm blending um, all the colors together because the orderless mineral spirits break down the waxes in the pencils. You cannot use water for these because these are not watercolor pencils. They are regular colored pencils. So you need something like a solvent, like odorless mineral spirits, to break down the waxes to allow the color to blend. 
And then I just, I used the whole one blending stump for this whole thing. I didn't bother changing sizes or anything else. And then I just used my little sanding pack, which also Spectrum Noir does. Um, I'll link to it. Mine isn't by them. They're all the same though. I've had mine for years, but um, a nail file works fabulous as well. And you just sand the color off so that you're not um, mixing up your colors and you just keep going like that. So um, definitely check out my Prismacolor video. If I remember when this is uploaded, <laughs> I will try to link directly to it so you guys don't have to search through my 500 videos. Um, but if you do type it in like Prismacolors and OMS info Amy R, that'll probably pop right up. But anywho, uh, I sped up all the coloring because I didn't do anything groundbreaking. I just um, did all, if there was the three colors, I would do all three and then just blend them. Um, nothing super fancy. I didn't want to go into a whole lot of detail. I was more just playing around. Um, I'm definitely going to have to play around more with the skin tones because I find the, those three in this set are very pale. I wonder how they would look. I wonder if they would show up on craft cardstock. That might look really cool. But on the white cardstock here, like, she is white. Like, she's as white as me on here because <laughs> I am pale. <laughs> so I just colored in the whole image, kind of picking up just random colors from the set really and then I used one of the grays to kind of add a little bit of shading around her and that's all there was to it. So once I was done coloring in the image um, I grabbed some sentiment stamps from my rumor has it set and then I had this kind of berry colored cardstock in my scrap drawer. So I pulled that out and I used my little powder tool to remove any static from a corner of the cardstock and then I just inked up four of the stamps at the same time with some white pigment ink and then I'm going to coat that with some white embossing powder and then heat that with my heat tool until they are all melted. And I don't, didn't worry about them lining up or anything like that. They didn't need to be straight. Um, I just wanted to make sure I had enough space in between them because I'm just going to trim these out with uh, my scissors. So I just used a Swiffer cloth. Um, a tissue would work as well or even just your hands to remove that white powdery residue that the little powder tool had left behind. So you just wipe that off after everything is embossed and melted. And then I just used my scissors to trim those out. And then I grabbed a couple more pattern papers from the same pack just to give um, a little bit more of a layout to this card. So I chose one of the more kind of blue colors and there's this kind of wood grainy pattern which my camera always seems to have a really hard time picking up for some reason. But um, my lighting is also horrible. It looks okay here but it's a very cloudy overcast rainy day. It's actually been like that for almost a week now. So really hard to get good photos and videos when um, I depend on natural light. <laughs> so I adhered the pattern papers and then I grabbed this May Arts. This is the textures ribbon which has been a favorite of mine for years um, and the color went really well with this scrap of cardstock. So I wrapped that around my little card front and tied it in a bow and then I'm going to adhere down this main image and then for the little sentiments I just thought I would kind of adhere them um, along the curve of the die cut circle here. I thought that was kind of cute so I just used my little Tombow Mono Multi for that since these are so small so a little tiny bit of glue not too much because again you don't want glue like this oozing out everywhere and just creating a sticky mess so a little bit goes a long way with this stuff so got that into place and then um, I went and put tape on the back of the ribbon this is something I haven't done in a while I haven't used ribbon in a while I go through spurts but I put tape on the back of it just to let my ETG adhesive glide over the tape so it doesn't get caught on it. It's not necessary, but it just makes things go faster. So I matted that with um, the same berry colored cardstock. And then I grabbed, um, I was going to add just regular enamel dots, but then I remembered I had these little swimming pool arrow ones and I thought those would be really cute. So I added three to kind of the top corner there and then three of the darker ones um, below the ribbon. And then I found some green cardstock in my stash. I think this is, um, this is Stampin' Up's old gable green like really old <laughs> I still have so many of their old colors so found that and it kind of went with the green in the pattern paper so pulled that out and I'm going to adhere that to my card base and as always standard a2 size card so four and a quarter by five and a half and then I trimmed down um, a piece of white cardstock for the inside of the card and I just inked up that Robert Roberto's Rascals Amigas Coffee Sue again this time which is some memento um, Lilac Posies ink but it's a pretty bright ink so I stamped it off once on just a scrap of cardstock just so I got a lighter impression so that it doesn't like 
um, interfere with writing anything on the inside of the card. And then I grab this other sentiment from my um, rumor has it set and use my stamp positioner so I could straight get that stamp right in the middle there. And I just, yeah, really like how this one kind of turned out. I need to make more cards like this. All my like close friends don't live near me and a couple of them I barely see like one of them I see once every like couple of years so cards like this are ones that I need to start sending out to friends of mine rather than a text or you know an email or something like that so as always um, there will be a link below to my blog post with links to all the supplies used um, thumbs up if you enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing I really appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next one bye